You know, everybody is talking about beauty sleep, how important beauty sleep is, that don't forget about your beauty sleep, but nobody actually explains why is it so important for the beauty of our faces and for the inner and outer being overall. Well, first and foremost, there is a common knowledge that is uh, you have to sleep seven to eight hours a day. Well, this is not entirely true because each person is uh, different. And as we grow older, as we get older, we need less and less sleep. For example, a person over 65 years old needs as little as six hours of sleep and they're super happy about it. So everything is individual, but I do recommend seven to nine hours of sleep daily. Another thing you need to uh, take into consideration when talking about beauty sleep is the darkness of the room. You have to sleep in a dark room, no light whatsoever, because the darker the room, the better the quality of sleep. Okay, so keep that in mind. Another thing is a pillow, a comfortable pillow. Okay, sleep on your back. Try to sleep on your back. It is the best position for your sleep. If you are a side sleeper, use a special orthopedic pillow. There are tons of them in the market for different budgets. Don't invent stuff. Go and get yourself a pillow, a special orthopedic pillow that's been designed for side sleepers. If you sleep on your face, face down, just change that. That is unacceptable. Another important thing for you to know is that while we sleep, during our sleep, our body produces a lot more collagen that, than when we are awake. So this is an important part of the day for us. And the longer we sleep, the higher the quality of sleep, the more collagen our body produces, okay? And that basically means that equals uh, a much better quality of skin. Also, as we sleep, our cells regenerate, okay? So our skin cells regenerate. That's why when we have a good night's sleep, we wake up all glowy and all fresh and nice. And if we, for whatever reason, did not have a good night's sleep, we look dull and tired and our skin is not radiant, it's not glowing. It's as simple as that. And one last thing I wanted to discuss with you in regards to the quality of sleep before you go to bed, try to avoid all the gadgets, TV, phones, and everything else uh, at least one hour before you go to bed, okay? Just shut it all down and let yourself to relax. Let your brain to relax, your eyes to relax. Do face yoga instead. Do exercises, massages. Talk to your husband or wife instead. It's much better for you. And then in the morning, the first thing you do when you wake up, you do not check your phone. Give yourself time to wake up. Give yourself time, your body to wake up, your mind to wake up. Go have a cup of coffee, go for a run. Uh, I don't know, do little gymnastics. And only then, when you are fully awake and ready to start the day, you switch on your gadgets. So the conclusion from this last point is, don't even have your phone in the bedroom. When you go to bedroom, do like my father does. Leave the phone behind, leave it downstairs and go to your bedroom. And when you wake up, when you already had your cup of coffee, when you already been to the gym or done your gymnastics, your morning routine, only then you switch it on, okay? So, and when you switch it on, you, if you haven't done that yet, Go to my profile, click on the link in my bio and take the free agent type quiz to see which face yoga program you need to do instead of looking at your phone and scrolling through your Instagram account.